Can everyone hear me? Okay. All right, so I am not used to preaching with a microphone. Our room is a little smaller than this, so normally I'll be able to tell by the looks that I see, but if you can't hear me, if someone kind of gives me that look, I'll know right away, and I won't be offended. Well, good morning. And I will say it is an incredible honor. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, it's also a pleasure that's tinged with a little bit of, of fear and apprehension. Right? Um, for those who have preached God's word, there is always a weight that goes with you throughout the week. I'm on Gohombe Mahalawi, Abba Hobri and I. Abzimet Echzarov Kalogan, Rosuzahala Kabdetan, for Hani Fetra Lee. Yes, and if you don't know me, you wouldn't know that I share something in common with Moses. So, like Moses, I am a man of slow speech and tongue. <laughs> right, so thankfully today, I have my Aaron with me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, so Helen, this falls on you. Okay. <laughs> right? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a light burden, I think. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we are here in a celebration of Thanksgiving. <laughs> and so what I'd like to start with is that question, for what are you most thankful for? And, and if we were to share this with somebody else, if we were to talk about our thankfulness, we would start to boast in a good way, but where would your boast lie? Several weeks ago, when I found out I was preaching today, uh, I went in prayer to God, and God gave me a passage of scripture almost immediately. The, the problem I had with this passage is that oftentimes as pastors and teachers, God presses something upon us that perhaps we struggle with ourselves. Our passage in scripture today comes from 2 Corinthians. It's, it's chapter 12, verses 5 through 10. And, and in this passage, I see that the Apostle Paul, his boasting is very different than my own. Where I would take pride in my successes, the things that I do well, my accomplishments. The, the Apostle Paul, he boasts in his weaknesses. He has thanksgiving in his thorn. So for Thanksgiving today, we shall take a look at what biblical boasting, what biblical thank Thanksgiving looks like. So Okay, so I'm going to ask you right now to turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Our primary verse will be, or verses will be 5 through 10. And then what we shall do is read it through one time completely and then go bit by bit and break it down and see what God has to say for us today. Okay. And, and forgive me here. Do we typically stand for a reading of God's word here? <laughs> on behalf of this man, I will boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast except of my weaknesses. We can go through all the passages. Though if I should wish to boast, I would not be a fool, for I would be speaking the truth, but I refrain from it so that no one may think more of me than he sees in me or hears in me. 
So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Bezhamze zemes sele sab aik mekahe. Benair seigna, dhamein te zeikoinu, aik mekahane. Kmenta kmekahente zedelis, hakem te zarab kumo, aim ashehun nere. Ganaha had a kohalafat zere el lays alone, ways halafat rabba is some on ke has benni, shalalila a had golloho. Bemagnat the azibulut rai and bezamen tre a baha, absegai grudge to a benni. Embezament re ebbe, Melach sait ank sa en nito habeni. Is Rabbi Kerhel Zabun Goita Celeste sa la Menko, Musra, Haile Bidham, Eusefitz Amomo, Sagai Achla Cabeleni. Celeza Haile Crusos Ablaiment Hadder, Bubzur Tahagas Bidhame Kamakahe. Embarke, Mizdekum, Shru Eusebert Amo. من تكرستو سيلا بدخام بتعرفي بحسار بمسقاق بتسببا حقوسي آمين Let us pray نتعلي Heavenly Father, uh, we come before you aware of our weaknesses, aware of our need for your spirit just to understand what it is that you want with this word and so I, I pray that you're, you're here with us, Lord, that you are present right now. We are not here for a speech, but we're here to encounter you. Impress upon us what we need to get from this verse, Lord. Impress upon us what we need to be your people. Impress upon us what we need to properly boast and live in an attitude of thanksgiving. Lord, we are your people. We await your spirit, your presence, and all that you do for us. And we pray this in the only way we can. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So Paul begins, on the behalf of this man, I shall boast, but on my own behalf, I will not boast. And so we have to understand the context. What is going on here with Paul in his life right now? Right, and Paul, oh, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That'll happen back and forth. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Right. So Paul is writing uh, to a church that he started in Corinth. In this part of the letter, he is answering accusations that have been levied against him. Paul is addressing what he calls super apostles. Right, and these super apostles are attacking his, pre his preaching. They're attacking his weaknesses. And so what Paul does here is he engages in a little bit of a boasting contest with his adversaries. Right. And, and he understands that what he is saying is the speech of a fool. If you go to Proverbs 26, and I think it's verses 4 and 5, there is one section where they say, answer a fool according to his folly, and then immediately following it, they say, don't answer a fool according to his folly. And so what we have here is a textbook example of what that looks like. 
ናይት እሽነት እንታይ ከመዝመስል ይዙ ነግረና ዘሎ so if paul's adversaries want to attack paul's pedigree his heritage they can't because paul says mine is better he is a hebrew of hebrews እቶምከሰስቱን ሐረ ጳውሎስ አብ ዘኽፍለዚብ ዘዓባት ሲና ቱሪስቲ ወይካተ አማጻጹ ከኸሱ ወንድ ሕር ኮይኖም ካፕቶም ካፕቶም እብራውያን እብራውያን ይሉ ተመክሕሉ ስለዘሎስ አብራይ ክረኽ ብሉነ if they want to attack paul's work for the church they can't because his efforts are greater ብዛባዩ ከኸሱ ወንድ ሕር ኮይኖም ካኔ አይክሉነ ምክንያቱ እኹል መኽሰስ በቃት የብሎምን ካብ ኩሎም ዝለዓለ እዮም ዘዓየ ፈልጦ and if they want to attack paul's suffering as to what he has given up for jesus they can't because paul's is greater ብዛባ መስጎክቱን ዘኸፈለ ዋጋን ከኸሱ ወንድ ሕር ኮይኖም ካ ሐለፋ ኹሉ ሰብ ዋጋ ከም ዘኸፈለ ፈልጦ ይም ስለዚህ መኽሰስ የብሎም and the super apostles have apparently also attacked the revelations given to paul so paul then goes to a revelation where he is called up to the third heaven zom hulufat amant we hawaratina bahalti wala net miglatsnatu na melkete hittotem kaharmo fetinom em netna absal sai samai tenati qozblo zollo kiflun kaharmo fetinom em so in jewish thought you would have the first heaven where the birds of the air fly you would have the second heaven where the stars in the sky are but the third heaven this is the abode of god this is where god lives abtna ibrawan sna melokot we sna hasab itqadamay samay kalay samay salsay samay ziblo yifalali wem selezi can you repeat the first and the second and the, the third uh, the, f- first the first where the first birds one. live the second where the stars and the moon are in the sky and the third is where god lives okay so itqadamay samay ten awaf znebralu itkhalay samay ወርሐንኳ ኸብትን እትሳሳይ ሰማይ ድማ እግዚአብሔር ዝነብረሉ መሆኑ ይፈልጥ የማብት ናቶም ስነ ሐሰብ and so what paul is doing here where the super apostles were resting on a revelation given to him in word he was actually taken up to where god lives whether in spirit or in body paul does not know but it's a different type of revelation ስለዚህ ዘተዋቦ መግላጽ ካርሞ ከመጽኸሎ ብዛባት ሳልሳይ ሰማይ ከገለጽ ከሎ እስካብ እግዚአብሔር ከም ዘተዋቦ አብት እግዚአብሔር ዝነብረሉ ባካል ይወላ በመንፈስ ተነጥዮ ኸይዱ ዘተዋቦ መግላጽ መሆኑ ይነግራሎ and so what happens here with paul is that he sees things in the third heaven that are so great they are so glorious they are so wonderful that he can't even speak of them ብዛዕባ አብታ አብሳልሳይ ሰማይ ከይዱ ዘተገልጸሉ ምግላጽ ከዛረብ ከሎ አዚው ክቡር አዚው ብሉጽ ነገር ስለዝሆነ ከዛረበሉን ከም ዘይደፍር ተነግራለሁ and this is where paul's boasting changes ትናቱ ትምክህት ድማ አብዚና ክቅየር ከሎን ነርየው he will no longer boast of himself ዛባ ገዛሩ ሲኮን እንዝምካህ ዘሎ but he will boast of what god has done on his behalf ዛባ እግዚአብሔር አብክንዱ ዝገበረው ነገር ግን ዝምካህ Paul is a vessel sustained by God's grace. Paulos aqha gziabher bitsaga amlakh zeto tsora setrahi. And so what he says in verse 5 is from here on out he will only boast in his weaknesses because his weaknesses expose the power of God in him. Afqad hamush tekhn re yekhalana hajib zaaba dekhame yez mekkah kbel kollo et dekhamu nena gziabher tsagan haylen sele zgeltso bu ukh mekkah yeblallo. By the world standards Paul could boast. He did all those great works but he did them through the power of God that was in him. بناي عالم ملكعي كمكحخل نيرو جنانتا يزبل زولو بزعبا رئيسي زي كونه بتغزيابير كغبرو زبقعنا املاح كمكحيبلالو. And this is the difference between the boasting of the world and the boasting of those who belong to Christ. فللين ايتنا عالم تمكحت وي دما بعالم زنبرو عالماوين النبلوم تمكحت نتوما اب كريستوس زولو دما ازي and from these first two verses what we see is that god is most glorified when we are satisfied in our weaknesses abzan kilta qadamot fiqratat in re edma ab gziabher nahna agubat muluat min misnakhaw in gziabher dma bana ziada khabir and this is a central portion of paul's letter to the corinthians but it's also a central portion of our walk as god's people ازملخت زي ما اكل اي حساب وي دما وانا حساب ناي زخف لزطرح زي كونسي كما امنت ونحنا وانا حساب ناي مملاسنا بكريستنا ايو i ask you now to look at second corinthians verse 4 i'm sorry chapter 4 verse 7 ابت خلاي ملخت باولوس ناب سب كورنثوس رابع معرف قطر شعاتن ملس and here paul writes 
we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. So Paul's theology is in line. He's been entrusted with a gift that he didn't earn. God is the source, he is not. And so what we see is that Paul's boasting is actually thanksgiving to our Lord. And we see this through all scripture. If you would now please turn to James chapter 1 verse 17. In the first part there we read that every good and perfect gift is from above. It comes down from the Father of lights. Every good thing that we have in this life, everything flows from God to us. Everything that we have that is good is a blessing from God. And boasting, therefore, does not belong to man. Boasting belongs to God. Thanksgiving belongs to us. Let's listen to the words of God on this matter. And this will be in Jeremiah 9, verse 23. And the Lord says to Jeremiah, Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. But let him who boasts, boast in this, that he understands and knows me. And I want to give you an example of how crazy our boasting is before our Lord. This time of year is, uh, we're close to Christmas. So over the next few weeks, we see Amazon delivery drivers all the time. Okay. And, and suppose that I was that driver, and after a particularly busy day, I would look around and start praising myself for delivering so many gifts. Amazon, and so if I were to say that I am the most generous man on the planet because I've given more gifts in one day than most people will in their whole lives, I would be a fool. I am not the source, I'm just the courier. Right. And so just like it would be wrong for us to boast of such a thing, it is wrong for us to boast of such a thing before the Lord because he is the source. Every good thing that we have, he gives us and we give it to others. So there is boasting that is fitting of the world, and then there is boasting that is fitting for Christians. Our boasting lies in our need for our Father. 
تمكحتنا نتنك زيابير مد لاينا طرح يزمركوس ابو يزمركوس and so we walk in thanksgiving because we understand that everything that we have all of our accomplishments are due to god's grace سلازي موسى زلو هيوت موسى زملو هيوت ننبر مخنياتو كله زلنا بركات كاب اغزابير زتقبلنا يا سلاز هنا and so as we celebrate thanksgiving this week i just ask that we be reminded of all that the lord has done for us سلازي ابزغنياتزي معلت مسغانا ابنبعللو غيزي اغزابير زهابنا كله بركات ندحاسبنا بنا موسى ملو يحتكم god gives us life and he gives us breath and he gives us our families which sometimes is difficult but we are a blessing to each other اغزابير تنستنف سو تنفاس هيوت هيبنالو بيتسابي هيبنالو كل عينات بركات اب هيوت نا هيبنالو سلازي نو عند حسبنا عاد عاد غيزي ولا كبيد كون تخونا مسولداتنا ديل كنغبر موسى زلو هيوت كنغبر غنا حتكم okay. and then we could be thankful because every good and perfect gift that we have we know comes from god مسغانا زلو هيوت كنغبر دما نا انا قليل مخنياتو كل زلنا خاب اغزابير استقبلنا يا سلازي خونا we have another level of thanks because God gave his son as the sacrifice for our sins. We have a higher level of thanks because God gives us his spirit for new life. And then we could be thankful because God promised promises all who believe eternal life with him. And so I think we can all say that God is good. But church, it is easy to bless somebody who blesses you. And I think that we know life is not just blessing after blessing after blessing but it also includes some suffering. Hiwat bizawa baraha tirah kam zay kona gin kullatna nfelitina mis buzuh tsababan mis gaddalen kam dmatz. Kullatna bro hiwa. So how do I boast in weakness when I don't hear God answer my prayer? How do I boast in weakness when I am suffering? How do I boast in weakness when I am in pain? ስለዚህ ከመይ ገረ እን እግዚአብሔር ሞሳ ዘመልስ በጸበባ በመከራ በአንዛ እግዚአብሔርውን ጸሎት ይ ዘይመለሰ ለይ ኮይኑ እንዳ ተሰማን ሆሎ We've heard the passage what about the thorns in our life Can you say that one more again Oh we've, as we have read in the passage the thorns of in our life Okay ስለዚህ በዛዓባት በህይወትና ዘሎ ግራጭ ከምተ ዘንበብናዩ እንዳ ሐሰብና ከመይ ገርና ሞሳ ነመልስ ክንሪና and we're going to pick it up back now in in verse 7. Abtalai Korontos mara fa 10 tal tahbu zer shu'at tahjim alis nahan melasina. So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Bemagnat eti azi blo tsrai embeza men tkhay abaha absgay graach to habani. Okay, so this verse is shocking. And it's shocking because we can see that there is danger attached to the revelation of God's word. And the danger is serious. We could become lifted up in pride. And so what we see is that God does something to Paul that at first seems very ungodly. Uh, he, he gives Paul through Satan, a thorn in his flesh. Right, and to understand this more, we're going to spend a little time in the Greek. In, in English, the word is translated thorn, and a thorn is an irritant 
It's something that pierces us, but it's something that we can remove and cast aside. In the Greek, the word is stake. Thorns irritate, stakes impale. <laughs> And so Paul is dealing with something that he can't ignore, he can't get around it. It is stuck in his side. And, and the scripture is unclear as to what this is. Scholars have speculated, but I think God left it unknown on purpose. And the reason being is that as we approach God in our lives, all of us at some point in time shall be given a thorn. And these thorns are different. And and I want you to understand God's word, so I want you to understand that when God was, when God gave this to Paul, the word in the Greek is gift. He was gifted this thorn. What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> But, but seriously, there was a reason behind it, and, and I'd like to explore this a little bit. God gifted Paul a messenger from Satan. And so God used Satan. He allowed Satan to attempt to destroy Paul, but in that attempt, it actually brought Paul closer to God. Can I say that we serve a God whose ways are above our ways? And I think the thing that we need to take out of this as a church is that sometimes the thorn in our lives is a necessary cure for something that is more evil. And sometimes we want the thorn gone, but that thorn is God's means of giving us more grace. So let's look at something we can compare, can compare this to that we all understand. Okay, and it's something that has affected every one of our lives in some way and it has affected some of you personally. And we're going to talk about cancer. When you get a diagnosis of cancer, you, also, you often go in thinking it's one thing but not quite sure how bad it is until you get that word from the doctor that it is cancer. And so after the diagnosis, the doctor gives you a treatment for the cancer in the form of chemotherapy. And 
And the chemotherapy is designed to kill the cancer, and it works, but it affects your body as well because it is poison. The chemotherapy is a very good thing. The cancer 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 is a And so, in the midst of this treatment, you typically go through a great deal of pain and suffering. But we will receive this pain and suffering because the doctor has told us that this will lead to a healing. We trust that the suffering that the doctor gives us is there for our greater good. Church, if we can trust a doctor, can we not trust our Lord? Can we not trust him when he gives us this thorn? Many of you here are parents, and we serve a loving father. And as parents, we don't give our children blessing after blessing after blessing after blessing because it would spoil them. And so there is discipline involved in parenthood, but the discipline is never meant to destroy, it's only to correct and turn. And So when we look in scripture and we think about suffering and we think about the destruction it brings, I think if we think about it at the highest degree, we go to Job. And we are told that Job was a righteous man. But Job lost his home. Job lost his children. Job lost his livelihood. Job lost his health. And while he sat there suffering and in pain, his wife told him, curse God and die. But what we read, in Job 2.8 is Job's response to his wife. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. And he says, speak, you speak as one of the foolish women would. Shall we receive good from God? Shall we not also receive evil? The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then I want to remind you too, in the end, Job learned humility, but everything that was taken away from him was restored plus some. That's the God we serve. That's the God of thorns. And I don't think it's a stretch to say in this room right now there are going to be several people dealing with a thorn that you think is unbearable. And we have to come to grips that even if God didn't cause this thorn, he allowed it to happen in your life. And so we're left with the decision, do we still trust in the Lord, or do we go our own way? And so I want to 
But I'll remind you that we serve a Lord who came down from heaven and died on a cross and then says, come follow me. Hada hasab gan kaza kroko medali, itakhab samai waridu, mentana zita sa'ala amlahanta yula nalo, nu'u sa'abuni. He doesn't leave us to suffer alone, church. He is with us. That is the name of this church. This is Emmanuel. That is God with us. And as his people, we must remember this one thing, that the pain God allows, he always redeems. And the danger for us, if we don't acknowledge that, is that we become hopeless Christians. Right, and when this happens, we believe in God, but we experience only defeat, no victory, and we expect to have that defeat. But that's not God's will for us. Let us go now to uh, verse 8 and verse 9. From, From 2 Corinthians 12, verse 8 and 9. So after receiving the thorn, Paul says this, Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. And and I want you to notice that Paul's first response is not to accept the thorn, but rather, rather for, to pray for it to go away. And so he prays, and he prays, and he prays, and my speculation is that Paul would have kept, he would have kept on praying until God responded to his prayers in faith and healed him of the thorn. But that was not to be. God said no, his request was denied. Paul did not need a new set of circumstances in his life. What Paul needed was more God. And so God says to Paul, my grace is sufficient. And when we hear that in, in the Greek, or in the English, it sounds like he is saying, my grace is adequate. Or my grace is just enough. But that's not really what is being said here. In this is a strange way of preaching. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but, but in the Greek, Sufficient is much stronger. We could translate that as saying, God saying, my grace satisfies. My grace is complete. My grace is all that you need. And so sometimes God's respond, his response to our prayers is that the thorn stays, but there's grace with the thorn. Um, 
አብቲ እሽኹካ አብ ትግራጭ አብ ህወት ካዘሎ ጸጋይ ዕዙዚ ጸጋይ ሙሉ ይ አባሃይ ብሎሎ and this is the deepest level of faith we can arrive at as christians እዚ ድማ ተዛዓመቀ እምነት ወይ ድማ ርክብ መስግዚያብሔር ሃሊና ከነመላለሰሎ ንኽል ህወት do we trust god enough to follow him to say yes lord when he won't remove the thorn እግዚአብሔርነ ትግራጭ አልግሶን ይኽብልከሎሲ ናአምኖ ዶምስ ትግራጭና ምስኡኽን መላለስ in church we can because one thing i've learned about god is that if it's not good yet god's not done can you say that one more time i'm sorry it's not good yet god's not done okay um ndher apti hiwotkum uzuz wey ka mulu zey kona egziabher ay wodan sirhu hiwotkum egziabher kullu zayyu yo mulun uzuzun kuburun and so we learn from this passage that we are to pray in faith until we receive the miracle or god tells us his grace is sufficient and when he says that his grace is not a consolation prize abzu khafle zintayin mahar egziabher ab hiwotna ta'amr kgeber kin tsille khallana wey ta'amr kisa za'z geber kin kin tsillina wey dimma egziabher ab hiwotna uzuz zhona tsagu kisa za'z geber kin tsillina does anyone here know the name joni erickson tata Yes, I do. Uh, Joni Erickson Tadat Bhalsevi tfalto ado nalo sinkelt ya. So so Joni is very well acquainted with thorns. Joni uh bizaaba zigrach nublo zellana tsubu gera tsabya tfalt sebet ya. Um I think we have a picture that she that she drew or painted. Uh sellilna meslen nsas saalato menalwash bizaaba Joni Erickson Tadah nizarab ndherko yena ለትዩዳዋን ክልቲዩ ጋራን ዘይሰርህ ሰበይቲ አውልቸር ትቅመጥ ሙሃብ ብብዙህ ቃን ዛት ሐልፍ ሰበይቲ አትሌት ማልተን so she she is a gifted artist she is a gifted vocalist and she is a follower of the lord jesus ናይ ቅብ መቅባ ተውቦላዋ ናይ ሐቅካ አማኔትን ሰዓቤትን ክርስቶስ ነ when she was 17 she went swimming with her sister and she swam out to a raft a floating raft and then she dove in thinking the water was deep but it was only inches deep she immediately broke her neck and was paralyzed ጓል አሰር ሸዋት አመት ከላ ከተምብስ መስከደት እት ማይ አዚ አሚቅ በዘይ መንባሩ አብ አብ ክሳዳ ዘሎ ነርቭ ታሪ ማያ ፓራላይዝ ኮይና ታስበይቲ she prayed for god to take away her paralysis she is now i think 73 So for over 50 years she has been a quadriplegic. Uh بزوح غيزي انا زغراج زي كافي وتا كخيد صلى قال 10 شو عت عمت كلهم ومسكونت مسلمست حجي قال 70 سلسن عمت كوينا الله سلازن لا لا 5 عمت مسنكلنا تملاليسا. This painting that you see here she painted with her mouth. This is the lips and mena nerio zellana بافات سلو. Throughout this process God's grace has sustained her. አብትሁሉ ዘሐለፈቱ አመታትን መስገደልን ጸጋ እግዚአብሔር ተሰኪመዋ and god gave her many thorns in life not just one she acquired cancer later in life as well እግዚአብሔር ሐደግራጅ ጥራ አይኮነን ሂባ ወነዛ ሰበይት እዚያ ምዝሁሉ ሰንክልና አውን መንሽራውን ተሰኪመዋ ተዋሂቧ and then in the midst of her chemotherapy one time she she said to her husband suffering is a glimpse of hell on earth the chemotherapy it halif kala an baal beta anta ilatola eti saqay way dima masgedel it halfo ta'amna ay siol kam za ta'ama ya tizareb and so her husband then asked her okay what is heaven is heaven the periods of time where we have peace and comfort in our lives baal beta dima tamaliso okay ndher siol ko mohoynu mengese samay ka khameyu and she thought and she said no she said heaven is god's grace within the suffering uh and tailwa lo baal beta it kanzan dkhamen tsaren zey wulu diu samay lo msahata ta antailato no no homo zey konasi zello gna egziabher awum sana zello ilato la tmlesalo khala if you ask her if she would trade the grace that she has received for the ability to walk and to run and to play she will tell you flat out no 
لو من تتحتوا انيركم اب كنت تتقبلتوا صقا اب تغراجا اب تخلو مسجد لان صقايان تعيتو خينا ختملالس كتكيد كتنقصاس مرج انت تبو انيركم سي نو نو مبلتكم نيره نتتقبلتوا صقا مست بنصنات بحرنات مملل لا ساي تزامدونيا so so god's grace satisfies god's grace is all that we need so I think what we remember out of this, what we have to get out of this, is during times of struggle, we pray to the Lord, and we pray, and we pray, and we pray, and if we don't hear an answer, we pray, and we pray, and we pray. If we go to Luke chapter 11, verse 8, Jesus recounts a story of a man who in his desperation he knocks on his neighbor's house in the middle of the night and he asks for three loaves of bread. Christos Bzaba had a sabai and then Jesus says, I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. Okay. Christos gana ham zibla nalo. 11 age. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Goita ham zibla na lo bzhaf lazi. Arkus la zuhana khuba ko anta zaitan sa. Min te dekas kai kol oilu itan sumo zidalio yibo abla kumal lo. But what we have to accept is that sometimes the answer to us is no. Har har ki zahan kab lo zala nagan tamalsi. No. Our Savior prayed three times for the cup to be taken from him, but in the end he said, Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And what we have to understand with that is sometimes that the, the thorn that God allows, he always redeems for something greater. And so with the thorn that you have in your life right now, we pray for healing. We pray for God's grace. We pray for a miracle. But in the end, if God says, my grace is sufficient, we understand that it is not the lesser prize. That's where we say, yes, Lord. So, so in the pain of loss, you can trust God's grace. If you suffer from fear or anxiety, you can trust God's grace. In suffering, you can trust God's grace. Because the reality is oftentimes we don't need a change in our situation. What we need is a connection to our Lord. And so often, church, the thorn that God impales us with, it connects us to our Savior. And, and so in these times, the answer for us is simple, but it requires the faith of Job. And this is just where we say, Though he may slay me, I will still trust in the Lord. Abzigizaz kam haki na 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 iyob 
ጸሎት ወይ ደማ ነናቱ አመላካከታ ክንወስድ ይዝግባና አንተ አይልሎ ዶ ሂ ስሌስ ሚ ኦኬ አይ ዶንት ኖ በትግርኛ አንተ አንተ ብልታፍለት ያ እግዚአብሔር እንት ቀተለን ነውኮ ወይ ደማ በመስገደለን እንት ሐለፈን ነውኮ ከአምኖ ይልናሎ ኢዮብ and this is where paul is so now we we head back to verse 9 uh first second corinthians 12:9 excuse me okay tamelisna abtu anna khaflna ab qutrat sha'at tarina but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of christ may rest upon me for the sake of christ then i am content with weaknesses insults hardships persecutions and calamities for when i am weak then i am strong نسخا حيلي بدخام يوسف فصممو صغاي اخلك كابلني سلاز حيل كريستوس ابل علي من تخدر ببزوح تحغواس بدخامي كمكحي امباركم زدكم شعو يي زبرت امو من ت كريستوس الى بدخام بصرفي بحسار بمسغاغ بصببا احغوسي and so paul doesn't just accept his weaknesses but he boasts in these weaknesses and he is say, he says he's content with them paulus hiji net dekhamu yiqbelo utrah zey konasi yimkahallullo mekhniyatu abdekhamey hugguse ugube mentay betzahaben netzagaylo mekahallo in the greek the word content means something different it means that he is delighted it means that he is well pleased in his weaknesses this is the same word that the lord used to describe our lord where he says this is my son in whom i am well pleased uh paulus abze abdhamo bzebay hugos kibil kallo abt ingzenya adma content bil zella qal abt tsere ind hir inayo uh hilf zebala hasaballo egziabher bzaba kristos kizareb kollo بوز سمركو فتو ودي يلوالو نتاقالت اي تتقيم زلو سلازي عقوب ملو حغوس كموهاني ززارب زلو باولوس ابزي so paul is not just okay with his weaknesses but he's delighted in them because he knows that's when the power of god appears in his life باولوس حجب زنا تغراچ وي كانت قنزو تقبيلو مسوخ نبر يلو طح زي كونه زخيد زلو بو تمكي حبو تحغيسو يوز نبر زلو مخنياتنا اغزيابير صغع عزيزو سلا زغلا صابو Paul didn't achieve a relationship with Jesus because of his work or his status or his efforts he achieved it because of his weaknesses he achieved it through God's grace and so he experienced the power and the love of Christ only only through his weaknesses Paulus مس كريستوس زرخابو حبرت بسرحو بخلاتو ويبتي بناي عالم ملكي عيز رخبو تمهرتو يكون قال بزوح نغرات ايكونن عبدخامو بصغان كريستوس سلا زرخبو بو يمكحالو بو اوني حغوسالو and so to understand the power of someone who boasts in their weaknesses we're going to turn to an example that the younger crowd may know a little bit better and that's going to be the incredible hulk بدخامكا <laughs> <laughs> محغواس نزب الحساب منتا نعر يخردانا بفلاينو توم ناشتو حدا ابنات كنوسدينا سو بروس بانر از ا نورمال ويك مان انتيل هي از ثريتند اند وين هي از ثريتند اور اف هي از اتاكت اور اف سمبدي كومز ات هيم اوت اوف هيز ويكنس كومز ذا هولك اند يو كانت ديفيت ذا هولك سو بروس بانر هاز نوثينغ تو ووري اباوت ات اني تايم بيكوز اني ثينغ ذات كومز هيز واي the hulk is always there to help him out um i think this is a game right <laughs> it's a game right <laughs> okay so i would rather not interpret i think i mean i don't know how to to say it <laughs> uh, i thought that would be difficult okay i'll pass that <laughs> but for those who understand you understand right <laughs> This is what Paul has in his life except it's greater. You throw a weakness at him and he's lifted up. You throw a sickness at him and he's elevated. You knock him down and the Lord picks him back up. Uh Nay Paulus Abdhamo memekahab zon reyo khalana 
ከህራም ካሎ ና እግዚአብሔር ጸጋ ዘለላሎ አብደሃሙ ዝድግፈው ጸጋ አምላኻሎ አብተስፋ ማውራጹ አመሐላሎ አብ ኩሉ ዘልዕሎ ጸጋ አምላኺና ንረ ዘለና when we confess our weaknesses before the lord that same power is available for us ዛባ ደሃም ናን መካህ ከለና ናን እመን ከለና እዚ አብ ጳውሎስ ዛአይ ጸጋ ቢወትናው ንግለጽ The danger for us though as a church is that we don't like to expose our weaknesses. We don't want to expose ourselves so we keep everything hidden and we crowd to God but quietly and then when we don't hear anything we start to drift away in faith. بزح غيزي نشغرو خما امن تغنا اتمسجدلنا تدحامنا تسعينا اين امنلوني نا وي دما اين غلصوني نا بكل مغزيابير بقولو سلازي نغزيابير كن سمعو نشغر ንገብሮ ዝግባና ግን ለካኸምና የጳውሎስ ብድኻመ የመካህ ከመዝበለ ብድኻምና ተመክህና ሐገዝ አምላክ ክንረክብ ንኽእሊና But church when we are weak our lord is strong አብድኻምና ግና ብርቱ ዝኾነ አምላክ አለና And often these sufferings have that purpose to draw us into the one who can relieve our sufferings ብዙሕ ጊዜ እዚ ስቃይ ዝወይካ ዝግራጅ ዝውሃበና ኢድና ሄብና ናብ ተመድሓኒና ሐንከይ ደሞ ሐገዝ ክንረክብ ምንቲ Suffering does not mean that God is displeased with you. It doesn't mean that he's abandoned you. It is often the means to a grace that you wouldn't get otherwise. Graj egziabher misana yetagosen we dimma taqayyumullo we ka abedilna yelena guhillo malat aykonen. Graj zbezha gize egziabher ab hiwatna tsego zezezellu magedi we dimma magedi we ka agababi And may I remind you that God's power is made perfect in weakness. Hada hasab kazakrokum we ka hanqahakum edalli na egziabher tsaga ab hiwotna muluy. Jesus was in the form of God but he took on the weakness of flesh. Christos mulo amlaqi. Gna dakham nay sabi tesekimu sabku khawun kallo. He took on the weakness of a servant he took on the weakness of temptation and in the end he took on the weakness of a cross but in that weakness and in that death victory came siga khlebiskello dhamna tseru siga khlebiskello hamten hna nfitteno tefettinu siga khlebiskello bemakara halifu gna khemcherasha by his stripes we are healed on the cross we are free from sin through his death death is no more that is the god whose power is made perfect in weakness And so I don't know what your weakness is today if it is sickness if it is fear if it is sin but I do know that you cannot overcome it on your own strength Lo malti grachkum way dimma mesgedelkum time hon yifelitni himam diu hatiyat diu kale mesgedel diu gna hada neger felit bibaalukum kitfatu way ka khtsir way tholun hon brasukum But when we boast in our weaknesses when we confess our weaknesses his power is made perfect in us bidakhamna misin imen bidakhamna misin mikkah nimimmanu netsa hoyna misin nqarab gna hailu abana bemalat igilatz and so church the things that we hate the most the weaknesses in our lives these are the things that connect us to the power of the almighty god ስለዚህ ሕዋተይ እት አብ ህይወትና ንገልጾ ድኻምና ኸይረ ንጸሎ እንተሎ ድኻምና ኸይረ ንሽፍኖ ይናዝበስ ሐጊዜ ግና ብዙ ጊዜ እግዚአብሔር አብደኻምና ይሁይሉ ዝገልጽ and that's what thanksgiving is all about ማልተ ምስጋና ድማ ብዛባ ዘጥራሕ ይ when god tells us that his grace is sufficient he's not telling us that that life is hard and we need to suck it up and we need to move on on our own he is calling us to a relationship with himself he's saying you don't need that right now what you need is me ስለዚ ብዛዕባ ዝግራ እዚ ወይ ካብዛዕባ እዚ ንግዚአብሔር ንመልሰሉ ሞሳን መልሰሉ ማዓልተን ሐሰብ ከለና ንግዚአብሔር 
ባዕልኹም ንመስገደልኩም ፍትሑ ባዕልኹም ንመከራኹም በድህ ወዘ ይኮነ ዝብለና ዘሎ አብኡ ጸጋይ ሙሉዩ ስለዚህ ምጹ ሰዓቦኒ ምጹ ምሳይ ርክብ ግበሩ ምጹ ምሳይ በናጻ በግሉጽ ነገር ተራኸብ ይዝብለና ዘሎ My grace is sufficient is a call to look past the thorn ጸጋይ ኡሁሊዩ አባኻ ኸብል ከሎ ካብቲ ግራጭና ሐሊፍና ኽንሪ ዝጽዋዓና ዘሎ ጻውዒቲ in a fix our eyes on the power of our savior እንድና ደማ ካቦ ሐሊፍና ናብ ኃይል ናይት መድሃኒና ኸንሪ ይገብረና and a lot of times we don't need a new set of circumstances but we always need more of god's grace ብዙህ ጊዜ ኩነታትና ኸቀየር አይኮነን ዘድለና ዝበለጸ ዘዓዘዘ ኃይል አምላኻ ቢወትና ኸግለጽ ጥራ ይዘድለና if we can take one thing from this this teaching today is that we can trust god in all things but especially in our suffering especially in our thorn he will never leave us nor forsake us ሐደ ሐሳብ ዚያዳ አስሚርና ሐንወስዶ ዘደል ሐምናይሎ ማዓል ተኽፍሊ ንግዚአብሔር አብድኻምና አመከራና ኸናምኖ ንኽእሊና እግዚአብሔር እሞኒዩ ምሳና ይዞሎ አይገድፈናኒ አይጥንጥነና ኸምቃለ and the english service knows this but if i have one verse that is kind of the verse that marks my life it is romans 8:28 ቶም አብ ኢንግሊሽ ሰርቪስ ዘሎ መንስያትና ፈልጦ ያምዛ ኸፍለ ዚያ ብዙህ ጊዜ አብ ህወተይ አብ ተራ ዘሎ ኸፍሊ ታ አመልክ ጳውሎስ ናብ ሰብሮሜ ሻምናይ ምዕራፍ ቁጽር 18 ወን ተን ዘላ ኸፍሊ and in this verse we read that all things all things work together for good for those who love god who are the called according to his purpose አብ ዘኸፍለ ዘድማን ታ ይዝብል ነቶምና አምላክ ዘፍቅሩ ከመኽሮ ወን ተጸው አግና ኩሉ ንሰናይ ከምዝድግፎም ንፈልጥና and that includes sickness that includes pain that includes suffering that includes death that includes all things will be made right we know the end እትሁሉ ይሎ ዘሎ ደማ አብዚ ህማም ከሆነ ኸል ቃንዛ ከሆነ ኸል ሞት ከሆነ ኸል መፍል ላይ ከሆነ ኸል አሞዳታ ገና ሁሉ በአወት ከምዝዛዘም ንፈልጥና and for all of this together that's the true meaning of thanksgiving bizaba zukhulu neger tsqaynan masgedelnan zelowo dimma ay maalt misgana way dimma mosa mamlas nblo zelena so let us now pray together to the lord whose strength is greatest in weakness selezi neti abdhamna haylu aziyu zigilats amlakh ndatametna nitsali bezraf dize heavenly father we are so thankful for this time in worship of you today we are thankful for who you are but also who we are in you and for those who are here right now lord who have that thorn that thorn of of sickness right now we claim healing in jesus name Amen. cancer be gone in jesus name Amen. for marriages that are suffering that are struggling right now lord we pray for healing within that relationship in your name Amen. for the relationships between fathers and their children lord we pray for healing in your name amen for relationships between the children and their mothers lord we pray for healing in your name amen but lord for the thorns that you say your grace is sufficient and these are the thorns that we are to bear we pray for an outpouring right now of your grace lord amen for truly your grace is sufficient amen. lord we are your people we thank you for this time for your works in our lives but most importantly for your grace and the sacrifice of your son in whose name we pray amen, amen. god bless you all